Hi, I'm Jeff Glover. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Ricardo Fredgia Miller. I've been competing for over 10 years in hundreds of gi and no-gi competitions all around the world. I credit part of my success to keeping an open mind, a modest attitude, and mixing up my training with some of the best Jiu-Jitsu players around the globe. Travel with me as I visit some of the best schools in the nation, getting the lowdown on the latest Jiu-Jitsu techniques the scene has to offer. Welcome to Glover's Travels. Okay, here we are, Glover's Travels, Episode 2, Gracie Baja Headquarters, here in Irvine, California. There it is. Um, we're going to get a tour of this place from two of the best black belts walking the planet today. Um, it's an honor for me to be standing next to these guys. My name is Marcel Feitosa, and I am the head instructor here at the Gracie Baja American School. My name is Flavio Almeida, I am the head instructor of Gracie Baja San Clemente. We will have our legacy wall. The idea is to make sure everybody that comes in understands a little bit of our history and understands where we come from. So the first picture we have is from Mitsui Maeda. He was actually the Japanese who taught uh, jiu-jitsu techniques to Carlos Sr. The other picture we have is Carlos Jr. teaching a seminar in Boston. And the last picture we have there is from Master Hanzo Gracie. So that was still the good days of the MMA in which people did not know much about Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> and our small guys could just go out there and beat the heck of everybody. <laughs> Back in the good old days. Here we have the trophies we win as a team. These trophies were not won just by the students from this location. Those are trophies from all the Gracie Baja schools together. It's our way to show people how good we've been doing in competition. We are very proud of those accomplishments. I've been around Jiu Jitsu for 10 years now and ever since day one Gracie Baja has been you know, the, the big driving force in Jiu Jitsu, uh, as well, especially on the competition scene. But um, you know, these, these guys work really hard to, to get Jiu Jitsu to everybody's front door and um, like Flavio was saying, it should be a, a, a part of everybody's daily life. This way here we have our pro shop, all the Gracie Baja here. Um, tell me about that Aikido to Jiu Jitsu video. What's that all about? Yeah. <laughs> here we have the downstairs mats. On these mats we have uh, mostly our kids programs, and women's programs and some of our basic programs. Here at the upstairs mats is where we have uh, most of our advanced classes. And actually we have a class going on right now. Master Carlos envisioned the association as an entity that would allow uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners and athletes to enjoy and make a living uh, out of uh, Jiu-Jitsu. A lot of instructors and competitors come from Brazil. Most of them end up coming to our headquarters in Irvine. You know, here we see what kind of opportunities we have for them. And a lot of them end up staying, like Ana Laura, which she's teaching class right now. And uh, she's still a very active competitor, but in a few years from now, she's going to be very well trained, not just as an instructor, but even on the other aspects of managing a successful Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school, so she can have her own school and, and make a very good living out of it. She's one of the most dominant females in the game right now. I, I believe she has like two world titles, or two or three. She, she won a world title on the blue, on the purple, on the brown, and I don't think she competed yet in the awards at the black belt. There you go, I mean, that says it all. That, the girl kicks butt.
He was rolling really light, but one of the things I felt, like one of the moves I'm really good at, is uh, when I get my guard passed, I turn and I catch the arm here and I roll guys. Okay, but he's really smart at that. <laughs> he's not falling for that. Every time I turn my back to him and I go to to cup his arm here, he doesn't he doesn't keep it in there. He pulls it out, so I can't really roll him the way I want. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me share with all the guys. What I think it is, I see a lot of times people controlling from here. They focus so much in having a, a tight grip uh -huh. that they might end up exposing the elbow for things like that one. Swim. Yeah. You apply very well. Yeah. What I try instead is not to focus so much on my grips. I'm not committing yet, but then. Making my body weight the heavy on your hips here. Once you lose mobility, I can visualize better, find a better opportunity to jump on something. For See instance, which from way here, I'm moving. from here, good move is one, two, three. Do the first fix. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been fun for me. It's been an honor for me, a treat for me to work with some of these black belts here, and. Uh, Guys, I give you Gracie Baja Headquarters.